it's just not a viable option for her business. Now, the government say that the tier allocations will be constantly reviewed and that some tiers will change before Christmas. We'll find out what that picture will look like across England later today. Thanks very much, Gita Pense, there. Crowds have taken to the streets in Argentina as three days of national mourning began following the death of football legend Diego Maradona. Now Maradona famously led his country to victory in the 1986 World Cup and is considered one of the greatest footballers of all time. He died of a heart attack at the age of 60. Natalio Cossoy reports. Brought to tears and brought to his knees, a fan pays tribute to Diego Maradona. Here at La Bombonera, the home of Boca Juniors and Informal Shrine, in memory of the club's greatest player. All across Buenos Aires, all across Argentina, they gathered to celebrate a glorious and colorful life. If you want to know what Maradona meant for Argentinians, you need only to come here to central Buenos Aires this evening to join these hundreds of Maradona fans dressed in Argentina and Boca Junior kids who came here to chant, to shout and to cry for their hero. He is eternal and here Diego will continue to be history. He made us known all over the world. I want to cry. I really want to cry. Argentina's gone. Argentina died today. At every Champions League match, a minute's silence was held in his memory. The latest generation of players and coaches saying goodbye to one of the greats. He made the world football better. His performance in, uh, you know, what had done in Napoli, a team for the South and a special national team in Argentina, Mexico, 86 was something unbelievable. In Naples, in Barcelona, they grieved. But it's here, in Argentina, where the pain is felt the deepest. World football has lost a legend. But this country has lost one of its favorite sons. Natalio Cosoy, BBC News, Buenos Aires. Yes, yeah, worth saying, Mike's been reflecting with some of the players who either played against him, played alongside him, and some of their ref uh, reflections about just what it was like being on the pitch yeah. with Maradona, the genius. And so many of them saying the same things that they too sort of were going, wow, even as things were unfolding in front of them. And just kind of knew that they were in the presence of someone yeah. brilliant and so skilled and so famous. Um, Ten minutes past eight, Maradona. Everyone has a story about him and respected, Mike, just how brilliant he was yeah. on the pitch. Which is why he lived his life through, the, through a lens, as we heard earlier, from a very young age when he was parading on TV shows, doing those keepy uppies. And that's what stood him out as well. You know, freestyle football is now a separate sport where players compete around the world just demonstrating their skills. Mm -mm. Well, he was one of those few that could actually do that in a game, or certainly in the warm-up before a game, he'd show off to the crowds and then introduce those skills to the actual play. And remember, he was only five foot five, which always gets me. Do you not think? But he was like, incredibly there, strong and robust. There's probably a whole generation of uh, young people now who are looking at images, you know, videos yeah. of his goals over the years and never seen it before. Right. And you know, even I'm not a massive football fan, but it, it wasn't about that. No. It was something else when he did what he did. More than that, and of course, there's a film that was made last year that tells the story of his life that has really captured him so well as well. There's so many tributes, as you can imagine, still coming in on social media. I've just noticed overnight, uh, fellow Argentina, Maurizio Pochettino, former Spurs boss, of course, saying he's broken with pain. He was my hero and friend. Let's have a, a quick look at some of the others. Brazil legend Pelé, who's 20 years older, leading the worldwide messages. What sad news, he says. I lost a great friend. The world has lost a legend. There is still so much to be said, but for now, may God give strength to family members. One day, I hope we can play ball together in the sky. Argentina and Barcelona star Lionel Messi said, Maradona was eternal. He wrote a very sad day for all Argentines and football, said Messi. He leaves us but does not leave because Diego is eternal. I keep all the beautiful moments lived with him and I send my condolences to all his family and friends. And I can translate the Portuguese and also Juventus and Portuguese forward Cristiano Ronaldo. Today, I bid farewell to a friend and the world bids farewell to an eternal genius. Uh, one of the best of all time, an unparalleled magician, he leaves us too soon, but uh, leaves a legacy without limits and a void that will never be filled. Wow. Rest in peace, Ace. You'll never be forgotten. So the likes of Ronaldo and Messi, of course, too young to play with or against Maradona, 
Let's now, though, speak to two players who did. Ian Rush, former Liverpool and Juventus star, and Trevor Stephen, who was in the England team for that famous match in Mexico in 1986. Good morning, gents. Thanks so much for joining us as we've... Um, the first goal was absolutely vital in the game. It was nil-nil after half-time. Uh, but when uh, the hand of God moment happened, it, it was um, it, it rocked us, obviously, uh, and lifted Argentina. And uh, what happened, you know, within that four minutes was the, the goal that everybody considers to be the uh, the goal of the 20th century and uh, of uh, the English-UK issue that was the Falklands War with Argentina. It gained more more relevance. And I think he, he was like the uh, the Pied Piper for the Argentinians, I suppose, that by the end of the, those four minutes had become, um, you know, a god uh, to them in, in footballing terms. Well, I, I just uh, messaged him to wish him happy 60th birthday. And, you know, and uh, he said, thank you, my friend. Uh, when we're back to normal, let's meet up and talk about the good old times. So it's completely shocked when I heard the news yesterday. But we are talking about, for me, you know, you look at Maradona, I was lucky to, to play on the same pitch as him. Absolutely genius. You know, Pele, and I'd say for the younger generation, it's obviously Messi and Ronaldo, and I would say to the younger generation, watch them two play while you can enjoy it. But for me, uh, Maradona, when you win the World Cup for your country, you no, know, Pele's done it, Maradona's on. You're talking about some of the best, or if not the best ever. The Italians were the best defenders in the world. And even they could not stop Diego Maradona scoring. So when I look at it, he's not even looking at the ball. He's looking at the tattles coming in. That's how good he was. And then what do you think his legacy will be? I mean, it goes beyond football, doesn't it? He said that football was his salvation. It was to... Never forgotten anywhere in the world. But Argentina, you know, he, he'll be... He's immortal, you know. And uh, when I when talk about... Trevor's talking about that second goal um, he scored against England. What you don't... People don't realise. He was doing that week in, week out at Barcelona and Napoli. No, I'll always remember him for the dribbling and no one could touch him. How to handle the media? I think uh, I think that played a part in it, but I think you also have to recognise that uh, Maradona was no normal individual. Uh, he was um, a maverick, he was a genius. Uh, the, the attention obviously grew in momentum following that uh, 86 World Cup. But he was already a world superstar by that point. Um, and it was almost, uh, you know, a, a flawed genius, yes. He um, probably never really grew up because he was living in a world that was uh, not normal by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, everybody in the world knows him, whether they love football or, or despise football, everybody was aware of Maradona. And, and who knows what that's like to, to bear the weight of that. But I actually... I met him in, uh, I've been living, living in Dubai for, for a few years and I met him across there very briefly and he was, uh, he was watching a game that uh, his girlfriend was playing in against my daughter. Huh. I didn't have the courage to go up and uh, actually say, uh, hi, do you remember me uh, in, that, <laughs> uh, in that moment? So he was sat there on his deck chair with four of his entourage uh, <laughs> in a park just on the outskirts of Dubai and I'm sat there on the other side with my dog watching my daughter play. And I thought, well, you know, he has a weird situation. And was it Game because finished, he went? Yeah, was it, was it just because he worked? He went left, I went right. <laughs> well, you just feel so in awe of him. That it's like when we meet one of our heroes, you, you feel too nervous and almost too embarrassed to yeah. say hello. Yeah, from yeah what happened in 86. Well, that's pretty well it. I think all the players, even you know, as that game back in 86 started, I, there was an absolute air of watch out for Maradona, you know, everything about him was out there. He, you know, he was so well respected and feared, you know, there's no, no question. If you look at the England performance on that day, um, yeah, he was <laughs> by a million miles the best player on the field. And there were some great players on the field that day, uh, but Maradona stood out like a sore thumb and, and went on to uh, be revered as a genius. Well, Trevor, we'll have to leave it there. And thanks to you and Ian for your memories and thoughts of playing against uh, the great man, Diego Maradona, and obviously your sadness as well, like all of us feeling today, at his passing too young as well at the age of 16. Still involved in the game in Argentina as the country there now has three days of mourning, his body lying in state. Fans there, as we've seen overnight, paying tribute, singing and also celebrating his life as well as mourning. It's not weird. In, in sport, there aren't that many people where you, the closest you get you're going to claim a, a bit of closeness. So you say, yeah. I saw him play once. Yeah. You know, I was in the stand or whatever. Yeah. It's one of those kind of sports people. Amazing. So it, Amazing. An, it would have been an honour to have seen him actually live yeah. physically, wouldn't it, rather than just on the TV, which was great enough.
Very good, Mike. Thank